Hey y'all, today I'm here with Benny, Body, Lisa and their dog Mona and they're gonna give us a tour of their 60 years old uh, RV. Let's have a look. It's a Mercedes LO1114 from Argentina and uh, it's uh, around 60 years old, so it's from the late 60s. Six liters straight six with turbo. Uh, the whole car is like 10 tons right now. Uh, 180 horsepower. It has a back wheel drive and the hydraulic steering, which is pretty cool. This is to inflate the tires and to check the tire pressure on every tire. That's a pretty cool thing. And what about the consumption? About <laughs> 20 liters per oh. kilometers. That's it's okay. You can yeah. you can drive over 100 kilometers per hour. Oh really? Then it's starting getting really thir thirsty. Yeah. But I go with 70 kilometers per yeah. hour. And they basically go. It's okay when when you go into the mountains all day. It drinks a little bit more. This was the door for the driver when it was a school bus. Welcome to the inside of our car. This is the entrance and here you can see the family uh, who, from, uh, who we got the car. So when I cleaned up the car, I found this picture and uh, I thought we would keep it. And here's always a lot of stuff. Everybody is saying when you come in or go out, it's like a birth <laughs> because it's so much stuff you have to go through. And then welcome to Wonderland. <laughs> when we bought the car, everything was white, like really white the family before they they painted everything with white color like really everything it was good because it was like a white canvas for me so i could start um paint it all um yeah we put on the fabrics on the on the roof and put on stuff we found everywhere <laughs> also the c-class i we lost a bit because it's not it's not doing forever i have to do it again but uh, yeah, I love to create stuff like that and have it everywhere. Also driftwood, I painted and yeah. Most question is, uh, do you have all this while driving? Yes. yes. <laughs> all that stuff is moving when we're driving and uh, in the beginning, Benny gets really crazy about it, but uh, now he gets used to it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, because I really love it and I also love we have belts everywhere, like uh, like this one. And it makes so nice sounds when we are driving. I really love that sound when we are driving. So we have this everywhere. This is like sofa, which is transfers to bed, or it just stays yeah, in sofa. Yeah, this was uh, this was all a bit different. Like we had here a sofa, but we changed it a bit. So now we also can put this out, and we have a really big chill area in the evening for Netflix and chill <laughs> sometimes. And also this area was also different before. Yeah, this one was a big table. You can see it a bit here. So it was like really a big table, but the space you could sit around was really not so much. Yeah, so you just like this. Yeah, you were sitting like that <laughs> and had not so much space. And we are just three people. So I thought that one day, maybe we can cut the table. You don't see it because the cut side is here. <laughs> we turn it and made a big sofa here so now it's more cozy and i have more space for my for all my art stuff my craft stuff i'm i crochet a lot so here's a lot of wool in this car <laughs> and yeah all my craft stuff how much did it cost to buy this bus this was a crazy story we can tell because we were in spain with our old motorhome and i I don't know for what reason I checked the internet for cars. I never do this because I'm totally not interested in this, but I had a inner feeling, I don't know. And then I saw this bus and I was like, man, Benny, look at this. We need to have this car. Because also we always were like, Benny wants to have a big truck. Like, you know, these trucks, you have the driver part and then you have the box in the back. And I was always like, no, I don't like that. I want to have one bus where we all everything is together i want to make a coffee when we're driving and stuff like that <laughs> and um, then we found this thing and i was like this is the perfect combination of our wishes so uh, i said yeah we have to get this car but then when i saw it the first time it was really expensive it was like 
45,000 euro was the first time you looked and then it was like on 30? 30,000, yeah. And I kept that uh, as a screenshot on my phone and I watched it every day. And uh, I don't know if you know about manifestation and stuff like that. And I was like watching that picture and I showed that picture to all my friends and to my family and look at this car, it's amazing. And uh, then we came back to Germany because the car was in Germany. Then we checked the internet again and then it was gone. And I was oh. like, no, I was so sad. And uh, then a few weeks later, we were uh, on a lake with friends. And then Benny had this feeling, this feeling, you know, he checked in the middle of the night uh, the app with the cars. And then he was like, the car is in again for 15,000. And then we were like, okay. We wake up in the morning and said to our friends, sorry, we have to leave. We want to spend some time, but we really have to go to this car because yeah. uh, this yeah, is our dream house. And then we went there and yeah, it was 15,000. And really nice story to tell. We didn't have that money. Uh, so it was sure that we couldn't buy this. And also we were like, okay, we don't know have anyone who can give us that money and stuff. So we were like, yeah, okay, but we, I really want to have a look. And then we were inside in the car and we were like, oh no, this is so amazing. And I, we really want to have it. But then we drive home in the evening and then I was like, okay, I think this day is a dream for now, but we know what we want. We will see wh how it goes in the future. And then I t told it uh, on our Instagram. I also showed uh, our followers when we watched the car and stuff. And then on the next day I said, yeah, I'm so in love with this car, but we don't have that money and we don't get this money from a bank. So it stays a dream. And then I got a message from a follower and she said, yeah, I have these savings and I really love to follow you and I want to give it to you so you can live your dream and I would be so happy to make this happen. So I could cry when I tell this story because, because of this girl, I didn't know her before. She was like just a follower. So she knows us a bit, but we didn't know her. And I was like, are you joking? Because we didn't know each other and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, no, I want to do this. And because of this girl, this is reality now. So, and this, these are moments I, I still believe in the good in humans, you know, because, yeah. Here we are in our kitchen. We changed a few things. Like here was a big... Uh, it was like an oven. An a historical oven. A really <laughs> old one with a big flame like this and we thought ah oh, this is not going to be safe we have to change it. And Benny built this thing and uh, also that one with the wood because uh, there was Which just a cool. curtain before. Yeah it looks messy. It looks we have to close it again. <laughs> it's always into the you can't have a look inside because <coughs> it's always like that. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, yeah, I also paint this and I like to collect stuff like that and hang it everywhere. Benny hated it because always... Yeah, when you do the cleaning, do the dishes, it's like it always gets stuck on this. Yeah, um, we can say something to this beautiful tree. This is not mm -hmm. a decoration. No. <laughs> we, uh, because at first there was a... A pole? Like a really ugly one and then we were like, yeah, maybe we can put here a tree, it looks nice. And then we put this pole away and then everything was coming down. So this is a safety thing. Yeah. <laughs> so it was part of the structure. It holds, yeah. it, holds it up. Yeah. yeah, and we are in contact with the family uh, they lived in before and we told it to them. And then he told us the story that they were driving and everything and then it was broken. And the only thing he could find was this ugly pole and he put it there and then it stays there forever. Because <laughs> temporary things are the best. Things. Yes. Always, yeah, it's always <laughs> like that, yeah. And the kitchen itself, it was here, they already changed this. Here, yeah, yeah, this was here. I, I, it's very nice. It's like, yeah and no. <laughs> At one side, I like it because it's really handy also with this with this part, because nothing, if you, if you drop water or something, it stays here, you know? This is really, really handy. But I don't like the optic of the stone. I, I would like to have some, some wood, because in the camper yeah. before we had like really nice wood and Probably one day we would change it. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit round shape more and that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And what we also changed is this side. Um, 
there we had when we bought it there was a fridge from here till the floor a big one that and was really one of the reasons why we bought this car because it was <laughs> the biggest fridge we ever saw yeah and but it was not working and i don't know if you know but there are so many tricks you can do to make a fridge working again we tried them all now i show you our bedroom and the bathroom and kind of kids room <laughs> This is a bit the messy corner because uh, this is Bodhi his playground and you can clean it how often you want, but uh, it always looks like that. And normally here is, is his um, bedroom, but he don't like it because the problem is uh, when he was one year, we moved into uh, the first camper van and then he was sleeping in the alcove. So he had a big bed for himself. And he slept here the first night and he said, Mom, this bed is really too small. So yeah, now it's more storage than a bedroom. And he is sleeping in our bed with us. This is here. <laughs> this is our bedroom and this was um, like this. We just made it, the family before they slept like this and we don't like it because if one have to get up in the night, you have to climb over the other. So we made it longer, this part, we put it, yeah, we make it longer. And here we have also our clothings there, there and there. And yeah, most of the time we all three sleep here. This is our bathroom and we have a dry toilet and the sink. Um, and here is our shower, what is also more a uh, storage room for the laundry this is the sliding door <laughs> uh, when we bought it it was not working the, this was the door but you can open it but because of the bed you always had to go in like this in the bathroom and then now on this trip uh, Benny made this working again and I really love it now thanks for watching I hope you liked our colorful uh, home and uh, yeah if you want you can follow us on Instagram via Augeliebe and we are documentary our life there and all what we're doing, all the art and all the stuff and all the crazy life. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.